Okay, so I've got some 4th of July video here. Uh, I was going to pull that open. i got some folks going out. We're going to we're gonna watch some fireworks and stuff go off in the sky. Let's find some good ones here. Because this is all in real time. Let's say I wanted to speed this up, because this is something that people do a lot. Uh, you'll see video speeded up or slowed down. So I think this is all 30 frames per second video, 29.97. I had some other where I shot it, maybe at 60 frames per second. If I wanted to slow it down, I'd have shot it at a faster frame rate. But let's say, uh, let's say I do want to speed some of this video up. So I've got an end point. I'm going to go to an out point over here, somewhere along in here. There's me jumping around. But let's say I want all this to go a little bit faster. It's just going a little too slow. It's dragging. I want to get through this piece of video. So I'm going to pull this down onto the line. Whoops. Here we go. Got a good long piece of video, maybe longer than I meant to get. Okay, we'll, th we'll do this little portion right here. Okay, that's enough. Now let's say I want this to go much faster. Here's how fast it goes now, real time. So that's really what I was seeing in Valdez over the 4th of July. But I want to show this a little quicker. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to go to speed duration. And I'm going to say like... 500%. I'm going to say OK. Boom. Now we should have all that video happening pretty quick. It's pretty cool to be able to do this. Uh, and, and there's a, another way you can do it. You can reinterpret this video, but this works really well for me ordinarily. And so let's say we want to uh, slow this video down instead of it being faster. We want it to be much, much uh, slower than really it was. And once again, it's better if you had more frames. Let's say you want to shoot 60 frames per second. Or if you've got a GoPro Hero 3, you want to shoot 120 frames per second with 720p. You can certainly slow these things down. And that's kind of like, hey, I might, I've got a video I might show you how to do that. I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's move on to another piece of video. Okay, so I've just pulled in a piece of video that is, is was shot at 120 frames per second, 720p. So when I bring it in here, it's not going to be the right size. <laughs> You'll see it's going to be much smaller. And so this is me getting ready to do an ALS bucket challenge. My dad does have an ALS. So I did this not only as a stunt, but it's just uh, it really because of my dad and kind of in honor of my dad. Those are my two brothers getting ready to dump that ice on me. And so let's say I want to slow this down, okay? So I'm going to kind of pull this forward, and we'll do a ripple delete here. And uh, so here's what it looks like to have this ice dumped on me. <laughs> And it was, and I want to see it slow rather than fast. I want to just ever just to really hurt seeing this, right? So I'm going to click on this piece of video. Number one, it's too small. Now you can scale video up. I'm going to show you kind of how to do that. Might as well while we're here, motion. And we're going to scale this video up. I think 150% should work. I should fill up the screen. So now, even though we're in a 1080p sequence here, you can still blow your video up. It still looks pretty nice there. So let's say we want to see this video in slow motion. I'm going to leave it in regular motion until it gets to right here. It's just about to hit my head. So I'm going to do a, a C key. I hit the C so I can turn my pointer into a cutting tool or a razor tool. And at this point, I'm going to hit the V. I'm going to slow this down. I'm going to slow this baby down to like 10% or 15%. So what this, this works a lot better, of course, if you have uh, high frame rate video. So let's just tilt into this. Well, I just did. I hit the tilde key. Let me do it again in case you didn't catch this in the earlier video. Anything here you want to see big, you can click on this window, hit tilde. The tilde is right beside your one or your exclamation point. It's kind of a little squirrely line. It looks like this. I'll do it again. It looks like this. <laughs> like a little wave. It's above your tab key and just to the left of your one key on your keypad. And tilde will bring open anything. See, I tilted that open so I can see all that. But I'm going to tilde this open so you can see this happen. So we're going to go back a little bit and so that this is real time until it gets to the point where it's just about to drop it on my head and then it slows really down. And now you can see all the excruciating, excruciating agony of 40 pounds of ice and about 15 gallons of water being dumped on me. And oh, that was so cold. Oh, that was so cold. Okay. I'm going to teal back out of that. So that's how you can slow video down. So there we go. We get all the way to this point. I'm going to pull back, and let's say that I want to reverse this video, show it in a backward speed. Well, certainly I could do that too. I could uh, I could start right here at this point to copy this, bring it over here, Control V. Now we could do this thing backward. I think uh, let's say um, 
speed duration and let's say minus one five boom let's try this now see what happens so here's that's kind of a cool thing to do if you want to bring it back in slow motion just by going backwards see boom that was very cold but very worthwhile so there you go folks I think you want to see that maybe you want to see that in in slow mo uh, up close here we go let's tilt back into that oops tilt in the wrong thing make sure you're on the screen hit tilt here's the ice going on and here's the ice coming back up I love seeing stuff like this pretty sweet pretty sweet <laughs> okay We'll move on to another lesson here now.